Yes, everybody, it is right here, the Lexus LBX. Now, it should be noted that this is directly related to the Toyota Yaris and the Toyota Yaris Cross, which does explain the size, everybody. Now, when it comes to the design, Historically, Lexus always had an American twist to them because Lexus was born in Japan, but they expanded in the North American market. They grew because of the North American market. A lot of their cars were built to originally satisfy the North American market before they started expanding globally. Now, something's a bit unique about this Lexus LBX. I saw pictures of it on the internet, and now when I look at it in real life, the side view had me thinking of something Chinese. It reminds me of something I've seen of BYD or MG, everybody. And this is where I come to the topic of identity. Lexus used to have a really strong identity, especially at the front. Now, I find it quite impressive how Lexus has gone down the route of simplicity because there was a time that the uh, rear design of Lexus cars were very busy. The license plates would be right in the middle. Above, you'd have the Lexus badge. They looked a bit generic. But now, it seems like Lexus has finally grasped something. I feel like Lexus did a brilliant job with the rear lights. Look at those LED rear lights. They look amazing. But then when you look over here, it looks like Lexus is still stuck in the 2000s. Lexus, what's with those fake air vents right here? Now, when it comes to the door handles of the Lexus LBX, it's the exact same concept as the Lexus RZ. So basically, there's a button right here. You have to press it and then only the door opens everybody so this is quite an interesting concept and only the front doors have a keyless entry to them when it comes to the small car segment and small crossover suv segment it comes as no surprise that premium car manufacturers tend to have problems competing in the small car segment because the philosophy of small cars was never really for them to be premium or to be expensive to purchase but now Trends have changed. People like buying small cars that are rather posh, rather nice to drive, like that of the BMW 1 Series, that of the Audi A3 and the Audi A1. Now, the moment of truth. The interior of the Lexus LBX, the part which I was very much looking forward to. Now, a primary thing to note is that they've gone down the same path as the Lexus RZ and the Lexus RX. The point being, Lexus has gone down the route of simplicity. They've long abandoned their famous uh, mouse pad, which is something they were known for in their infotainment system. They, for this Lexus LBX, there's no, there's no shortcuts. You just have a screen right here. Now, I don't know if it's just me, but the screen seems very small compared to what I've seen on competitors. Lexus has gone down simple, and this has to be the first time I've seen a small screen like this. So, very interesting concept. For the rest of the interior, it's very similar to other Lexus models, although this has to be the first time I've ever seen for Lexus uh, a rather thin center area. Interesting. Central console storage is interesting, so it's it, it can slide, and then it can open like this. And there are two cup holders, one here and one right here. This has to be the first time I see cup holders uh, separated apart away from each other. Interesting. Uh, and the start stop button is right here. And this is something I noticed in other Lexus models. Why did they put it all the way right here? Why not just put it there? And then this brings me to another point about uh, Toyota models in general, Lexus and Toyota. Good. Seating adjustment. Oh, for this particular one, I get lumbar support, uh, but the seating adjustment is manually done. So I just wonder, at least it's easy to use. Okay, so to move it back and forth, uh, there's a thing right in between here. Great, okay, at least it's easy to use. And uh, for back, okay, that's good. There's a lever, thank goodness for this. I hate it when there's a crank for the seating adjustment. I think this time Lexus definitely nailed the steering wheel because there was a time Toyota Lexus had the thing for having leather wrapped steering wheel that was just too firm. You could barely tell the difference between a leather wrapped steering wheel and a non leather wrapped steering wheel. Whereas this time leather, the leather wrapped steering wheel here is so soft. It's really pleasant to touch, a bit squidgy. Uh, but I'm just under the impression that it's a bit big. It's a bit too big. It's, But it's fine. It's fine, everybody. The steering wheel, you can move it up, down, in and out, which is great. I'm just trying to get used to it because it's too big. But otherwise, uh, for, for the rest, 
The window controls have a beautiful presentation to them. I love it. I think this has to be one of the best presentations for uh, window controls in this segment, everybody. Now, just one thing I'd like to remark is that I'm not moving too much, yet I'm hearing a lot of squeak coming from the seat, everybody. It's like I'm not even moving too much. All I'm doing is just moving my arm. And now it is time to cover the practicality solutions of the Lexus LBX, everyone. So you get a wireless telephone recharge right here. Well, I'm not sure if it's wireless telephone recharge, but it is a nice little storage space. As I mentioned earlier, two cup holders, one here and one right here. Central console storage, we covered it and it was a bit small. Now the fun part, uh, you get this nice glove box right here and there's a button to open it. So this is pleasant, but the bad news is the glove box is rather small. And, oh wow, the quality everybody. Yeah, that is interesting. Uh, this area over here reminds me of what I've seen in the Toyota Auris and the Toyota Corolla. It's very interesting what's going on over there. The door bin, everyone. The door bin is very small. In fact, it's only dedicated to a bottle. The, and the storage space underneath is... Mm, very... It, it's You can reach it. There's a 12-volt socket there. But it's like... It's very narrow in there, underneath. All right, everyone. I just had a chance to check out the rear seat. And I have to say that... This is a small crossover SUV. It is related to the Toyota Yaris and the Yaris Cross. So, when it came to you know accessories and comfort features there wasn't really much going on and the back seat is a bit cramped so the thing is uh my legs are basically buried right under the driver's seat my shin is making contact with the driver's seat my knee is very close to the driver's seat and the the back of the driver's seat doesn't even get a pocket only the passenger side does and uh although it is quite squidgy there's no hard plastic that's great but then when it comes to Practicality solutions, nothing going on over here. And no armrest. The door bin can only fit a water bottle and that's it. So here's my conclusion of the Lexus LBX. I have to say I am very, very, I, I have mixed feelings about this car. The idea of a premium car manufacturer competing in the small crossover SUV segment is nothing new. Audi, BMW and Mercedes have been doing this for already years. So it makes no difference if Lexus joins them or not. The point is, this Lexus LBX is based on the same platform as the Toyota Yaris. So this kind of reminded me of the same problem Audi was facing when uh, they came up with the Audi A1. The problem being, it's a premium badge you have on the car, but the option list was very small. Or there were just somehow uh, poorer practicality solutions compared to its sibling model, which would be the Volkswagen Polo. In this context, this is directly related to the Toyota Yaris Cross. And I, you see, the thing is, the interior was beautiful. I really like how Lexus has gone down the path of simplicity. They've removed the image of all this complex exterior design and they've stuck to something simple. I am very impressed with it. The RX was beautiful. The RZ was beautiful, although it did have similar problems when it came to practicality. But this Lexus LBX is very selective. It's one of the most selective cars released by Lexus, but it is still full of potentials. Of course, I still have my opinion to express of this Lexus LBX. I love this Lexus LBX. Although I will say that it is full of potentials, I really, really want Lexus to put more emphasis on the design. Be sure Lexus can do better than this. The beautiful RX, the beautiful RZ, the beautiful Lexus LS. These are the kind of cars I really look up to when I think of Lexus. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos that are on the run. I will see you all next time.